Ever wondered how satellite communication works? One key element behind it is the aperture antenna. These antennas radiate or receive electromagnetic waves through an opening in a conducting surface. Think of it as a gateway, where the shape and size of this gate largely influence the antenna's radiation pattern and efficiency. It's not just about the size of the gate, but also the characteristics of the waveguide feeding it. So, the aperture antenna is the secret ingredient that makes communication over long distances possible. Now, aperture antennas come in different types, each with its own unique characteristics. The parabolic dish antenna uses a shaped reflector to focus radio waves, while the horn antenna expands outward, forming an aperture. Whether it's the parabolic dish or the horn antenna, each type of aperture antenna plays a crucial role in different communication systems. Aperture antennas are not just diverse in types, they also have unique characteristics and wide-ranging applications. Known for their high directivity and gain, they're ideal for long-distance communication and radar systems. They operate best at higher frequencies, and their polarization is determined by the orientation of the fields in the feeding waveguide. Their applications span satellite communication, radio telescopes, and radar systems. From communicating with satellites in space to locating distant celestial objects, aperture antennas make it all possible. Like any technology, aperture antennas have their strengths and weaknesses. They offer high gain and good directivity, ideal for long-distance communications. On the flip side, their size and complexity make them less practical for smaller, simpler applications. Despite their limitations, the advantages of aperture antennas make them an indispensable part of modern communication systems. So that's a quick overview of aperture antennas. We've traversed the landscape of these fascinating devices. From their operation which involves radiating or receiving electromagnetic waves through an opening, to their distinct types like the parabolic dish and horn antennas. We've also touched on their noteworthy characteristics, applications in satellite communication, radar systems, and radio telescopes, and the balance of their advantages and limitations. Next time you're watching satellite TV or using GPS, remember the aperture antenna that makes it all possible.